started about 35 years ago. A group of us felt that uh, the fish were being planted upstream, and when they came down, everything in the river was eating them. And we wanted a downstream plant, and we worked with a man named John Trimper, who was a fisheries biologist at the time. And John suggested this net pen project. The DNR built the nets for us. And uh, Russ Rothy and Skeeter Johnson took over and did the uh, installation of the nets at that time. So we've been doing it for a long time here. And the whole idea is to uh, feed the fish, make them healthy, and acclimate them to the river so they'll come back to Grand Haven. In the past, we got about 200,000 fish. Then we got cut to 170,000 fish for a couple of years. And last year and this year, it's 59,000. And the reason for the cut is it's a lake-wide plan. It was agreed upon by all of the states uh, on the Great Lakes that put fish into the lake. And um, hopefully we're going to save the lake from crashing like Lake Huron did. It's worried about the uh, bait fish that are out there. About three to four weeks uh, till they're ready to smolt. The little fish will tell us when they're ready to go. Okay. They'll start trying to jump out of the nets. They lose okay. their par marks. Okay. with the little marks on the side of the fish. Okay. And when they're ready to go, we just open the nets and let them swim out on their own. Okay. And it works well because they, they can swim out underwater. Uh, if you plant directly into the river, as you, as you notice when we put the fish in the pins, they come up to the surface for a minute. Uh, we found out the seagulls and everything else were eating them all at once. Now we just open the nets and they can swim out. Because, uh, you're going to have two indications. One indication that's visible, and that is the adipose pin, uh, fin, which is right on the back of the fish, right next to the tail, has been clipped at the hatchery. Number two, if they were able to test, or the DNR can test, there's a wire in the snout of the fish. It's a combined effort to put them out by the Grand Haven steel headers and the Grand Rapids steel headers, along with licenses.